As a gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Gallagher, for five minutes. Uh, Secretary Austin, one of your predecessors, um, Secretary Gates, described his greatest success as a, quote, war on the Pentagon uh, that involved uh, really cutting through the bureaucracy and spending $45 billion to develop and field uh, the MRAP program, which is responsible for, field, for saving um, thousands of lives uh, in Iraq. Um, if, as you look at the problem we face across the Taiwan Strait, what do you see as your version of that? What is your version of the MRAP success, the thing that you are personally bird-dogging to ensure the, your, the bureaucracy is not slowing down our efforts to enhance deterrence across the Taiwan Strait? Yeah, so in accordance with the uh, Taiwan Relations Act, as you know, uh, we, we are absolutely focused on making sure that Taiwan has what it needs to defend itself, the right kinds of capabilities. So pulling together what it takes to get those capabilities uh, to Taiwan uh, in a, uh, at relevant speed uh, is the challenge. And, and you see us, and I think we may have talked to you about this the other day, pulling together a number of entities to work at this, uh, on this problem set. More work to be done for sure, but, uh, but we're moving out. So. But I, what, what is the, in simple terms that, that even I could understand, what would be sort of the, the thrust of that, that effort? Well, you, you want, they, you want uh, on the one hand, there's always this, this uh, focus on going after the big platforms, the shiny objects that are very attractive. But what does it really take to, to be able to defend yourself uh, the most, in, in the most effective fashion if you're a smaller nation? Uh, and we saw some of that, in, uh, we're seeing some of that in Ukraine. Uh, things like uh, coastal uh, cruise, mis cruise uh, missile coastal defense capabilities, uh, defense against armor and, and those kinds of things, and the training that goes along with that. So, uh, but, but that's what we're focused on, and, and uh, uh, we, we are making progress, but, you know, we'll, 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 move, it, we'll, we'll move it up faster. So. And I think there's a, there, I mean, there's a lot of bipartisan support for this idea of, of turning Taiwan into a porcupine. Can the members of this committee have confidence that the Secretary of Defense is personally engaged in that effort and pushing the Pentagon bureaucracy to deliver a deterrence by denial capability west of the international date line in the next two years? Uh, absolutely. Uh, there's not a week uh, that, I, that goes by that I am not talking to commanders and staff on the problem set, the challenges faced with, uh, that we face with uh, China, and uh, me personally. And so that, that is a, a, a part of our, our battle rhythm, for lack of a, of, of a better term. And, uh, and again, I think that that's what it's going to take to do the kinds of things that you just described. And do you, do you think, would the appropriate metrics for us to look back on or, or, or just look at periodically to figure out how well we're doing and how well the building's doing, what you mentioned, coastal defense, cruise missiles, what are, what are the things we should look at that we can actually count and measure over the next two years? Well, well, I think uh, in terms of, you know, their overall readiness, you know, how, they, uh, how their reserve forces are, are trained and, and their readiness levels, uh, the kinds of uh, training that the average, uh, uh, kinds of capabilities that the average uh, troop has, uh, has and things that units are able to do. I think, I think there are readiness issues, that we, uh, readiness indicators that we can point to directly uh, to show that we, we that we are making progress, but those say, those kinds of things that you just described, I think, are, are critical. Uh, uh, in the minute and six seconds I have left, uh, I want to draw your attention to the an article by John Pomfret and Matt Pottinger called uh, "Xi Jinping Says He's Preparing China for War," and talks about uh, four speeches that she, the General Secretary of the Chinese Communist Party, the Supreme Leader of China, has given this month which have as one of their major themes preparing the party and the country for war, including reducing food imports down to zero. They currently rely on the world for 40 percent of food imports, military mobilization offices across the country, combat casualty has, uh, uh, hospitals in the province closest to Taiwan. Do you, I mean, what do you make of this? Are, are, should, do you take Xi Jinping seriously when he says he's preparing his country for war? We, we take, uh, uh, certainly we take, uh, uh, Mr. Xi, uh, seriously. Um, but I will say that I don't think that an attack on Taiwan is imminent nor inevitable. Uh, having said that, uh, we need to make sure that we uh, maintain a combat, combat credible force 
uh, that can deter any adversary from making a bad decision on any given day. Gentleman's time's expired. expired. Chair.